Hello there, it's Dr. Scott McLean, and I can't wait to share my experiences with the i700. This came today in the mail, and you can see it came in two boxes. My whole scanner is in two boxes, which is incredible. We have uh, the i700 here, and we're going to open the box and have a look inside and see what is here. So I'm kind of excited. It's not too often I get this excited at work anymore, but this is like Christmas for me. We can look inside and there is the scanner. There's the i700 handpiece. You can see how nicely presented it is. And I was very excited about how the presentation was because this presentation shows the i700. And when you look at this piece of uh, press board, what you will see is this pledge through innovation and customer care that they're gonna really deliver on this digital dentistry revolution. And I like this. I think this innovation and customer care is where it's at especially uh, those two have to be there you have to have that customer care and this is where they really are doing great now let's have a look underneath this and see what are in some of these small boxes and if we open this we can see that inside of this is a uh, one of many reusable tips and so these reusable tips can be sterilized which is what patients want and this is important with an intraoral scanner what we also have is a little book here user manual and so um, I'll not often read these. I like to have someone tell me all about it, but there's 14 different languages I think are here, so it's kind of cool. This camera goes at double the speed of the last i500, which is incredible. It's got about 65 frames per second, which is phenomenal as far as scanning. There's a wrist strap that you can place on to make sure you're not going to drop it on when you're not thinking about holding the camera. And this is something that should be encouraged with your team when they're using the scanner. So if you look at this, there's some software that's uh, image acquisition software. You'll put this into your laptop. You have to buy a laptop yourself for this system. And the laptop is then used to uh, make this work. Let's open up the accessory kit. I can't wait to get in there too. Again, this box fits like a glove. You can see when I'm pulling it off, it makes you get more excited <laughs> as that top is coming off. So we're going to pull on this tab and pull it a box and have a look inside and see what's there. And I think this is the uh, medical adapter. Yes. So this comes from the power cord and provides the power into the hub. And then we're probably going to have the USB-C cord here. And this cord takes it out to the handpiece and only one cord should really go to the handpiece. So this is going to deliver the power which is fantastic because we don't want multiple cords going there. And then we have a little practice model, which is not allowing you to scan and, and test the scanner out. And let's have a look here and see what we have in this box. So we've got a desktop cradle. And this is used to place on your desktop so you maintain the protection of the camera when you're not using it. So you place it here. Now this camera doesn't have to be heated, which is kind of cool, which I really like that feature too. Then we have a wall mount holder. And this can be screwed on to your cart if you want to. And I, I bought this cart from Amazon. You can see it's about $71, which is not too expensive. And it works fantastic, so I recommend that. Now, if we look in the next box, we have a power cord, which comes from the wall, from the AC, to the unit. And so it's going to go to the medical adapter to power the camera. Here's a calibration tool. This is an eight-step kind of process, which you click like this and you'll calibrate the camera to make sure that it's really accurate for doing your scan. Now the USB-C cord is going to provide high power to your camera so only one cord goes off to the camera itself. This is the power hub so the USB-C is going to be plugged into here and then the power is also plugged into here and then the cord to the computer. So there should be a computer cord here as well. So Let's open up this box and we'll have a look and see what we have. And uh, so here it is. This is a USB 3 cable which takes it from the computer to the power hub. So a pretty easy setup. We have it together in a couple minutes and uh, let's have a look. But look at the difference between these two scanners. And they're made by the same manufacturer, but they've improved the camera by putting two buttons. And I'm going to find out more about this button because I don't really know a lot. I know you can push it and use it like a mouse button. But the camera is actually smaller than the uh, original i500. And you can see that it's smaller, lighter, faster. Like how much better can you get? And the other thing I like about this is the cords are all plugged in. So if a cord goes bad, you just take the cord out. You don't have to get a whole new camera, which doesn't make sense to me. 
So I am impressed with the next button and we'll see what that button does. We're going to play around with this this afternoon. We are going to scan about six arches and uh, see how this camera works, but we'll show you a couple. Now let's have a look at a case. Just about three months ago we did a CBCT x-ray and then we took that CBCT x-ray and blended it with a I-500 scan. The CBCT scan, which is the x-ray, and then the intraoral scan were blended. And this is an I-500 scan. You can see how beautiful the scan was. And you can see we're just even better, faster, stronger kind of thing. And so this I-500 original scan was something we can review and have a look at it. So we did occlusal-based planning. We wanted to plan some on-one abutments. So we want these um, angles to be hitting the buccal cusp of the lower teeth. So this is all planned from bone and also from occlusion. And so we used a color PLY file and this PLY file looks very realistic to the patient and you can see when we're planning this we'll be able to see where the on one abutments, the angulation, the depth and uh, the position of these abutments. So we're going to go back in and do a new scan. We could have used this scan but we want to try the I-700. So the software would allow us to clone this and we could have cut out the area and just scanned those two areas. But here is the new scanner. We're going to use this, the new I-700 or the X-700 as well. And we can see that this I-700 is uh, going to be used and we'll show you a little few things about this. Now if you go to the manufacturer's website, you see a number of features that are shown. Number one, it's got uh, both STL and PLY file capability, so it can be color or it can be just a single color in the STLs. It's also got an impressive speed with a double camera system, so this is kind of cool. Single button control, so start and stop the scan at any moment with a single click. It's got a small tip, which I showed is uh, fully reversible, and you can tip it back and forth. And last, it's got a high resolution, which is really good for visualization. Now my team's already done about six scans with this scanner uh, this afternoon, but we're gonna do a scan. I'll show you on my laptop here. And this is a Dell computer, super high end. So we're gonna do two premolars uh, using on one system. So let's have a look at the scanner. It's all ready to go. It's been wiped down. It's in the cradle. I've got a red mouse for the scanner itself and the black mouse is for my DTX software on my computer. And so we can kind of do everything right here and can also go to the consult room very quickly. So I'm going to open this. Don't do it that way. Pull it on the top because we want to protect that little end. And this end can go both ways as I said. It can click this way or we can take it off and use it the other way. So if you want to go upper or lower arch or depending upon how your thumb can hit that little check mark button, it just starts and stops the scanner. So you can turn it whatever way you want. So that's kind of a new feature on this camera, which is really cool. The wrist strap is new too, so you can grab that. You can kind of, you know, if you accidentally drop it, which is also good to have the cord because we have cordless as well in our office, but the cord will help you if it drops. So the X700 here, which is the I700, is a real good camera. So let's get going with it. We're going to look at the buttons, of course. So it's got another mouse button. You can see that it's right next to the check button, which is the start button. And this mouse button is going to be cool. And I'll show you how this feature works because this is brand new to the system. And uh, it's going to make your life easier because it allows you to keep your gloves on longer. It's all about how long you can keep your gloves on when you're doing your scanning. So let's get started. I'll push the top button and start the scanner. I have the overhead lights off so that, not the overhead lights, but the dental light off. You can see the scanner is doing a series of pictures, I'm putting this together in a 3D image. So this has a two camera system inside. And we're going to be taking an image of this on one scannable abutment. And you can see this here. And uh, the on one iOS scan body. I place this at the time of surgery. You can see how beautiful the bone looks right here under the red line. This is right at the top of the implant. So this is what we like about this abutment. It's a 1.75 millimeter on one abutment. So I'm going to show you the magic mouse button is what I call it because I thought this was really cool. This is the first time I'm using it and I'm clicking and you can see that as I move this back and forth I can see 
all aspects of the scan so I don't have to be using the mouse but you could use the mouse as well so we have a red mouse so we know exactly which mouse it is so you can see as I move this I'm going to go back in and continue the scan but you can see the parts of the scan that have not been picked up yet and so with scanning you're able to go back and pick that up at any time you can cut it out change it so a number of different things so there are edit tools so if I wanted to take a scan from before from the i500 or from any other scanner we can bring in any file into the system start to use it by cutting it and this is the beauty of this system is we can use files from any other scanner and uh, enable you to do this so here's the scan we're going to take this into DTX studio and then in DTX studio we'll be able to do all the things we need to do you know with uh, with the making the fabrication of the crowns. We have to tell the technician what these are um, in, ter in terms of the size and the and what size platform they are and what size uh, abutment we have. But those features are transferred with the notes section of the i700 scanner. Here's my dental assistant. She's using this for the first time on this patient and uh, she loved it. She thought this was fantastic. She's had experience with three other scanners so all in all, this scanner is a winner. It's a relatively low cost scanner, very light. It does not have to be heated up. You do not have to reboot it every time you move from one room to another. There's a lot of features. Uh, it does not cost on a yearly subscription basis. They do charge you if you're using uh, room on this, their, their servers for storing stuff, but you don't have to even do that. So as I said, relatively low cost check out the difference and uh, make your own mind up it's a really fast scanner it does a beautiful job and uh, I can take these scans and go right into my consult room wirelessly so I'm using DTX software which this software is designed to run very fluently through this kind of system so I would check this out it's not going to disappoint it's certainly something you need to look at so this is Dr. Scott McLean in this video is intended to help you to understand intraoral cameras.